Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I wanted to talk to you about how you can set up a dependency cache for all of your Maven dependencies. So when you run your GitHub Actions, it doesn't waste all of that time downloading your dependencies from Maven Central every single time. If you want to speed up your Maven builds in GitHub Actions, one of the things you'll want to do is you'll want to run a cache for all of your dependencies. And in the previous tutorial that I, I did, I ran a maven palm file did a, a maven package command to actually build my application what i want to do is just before that tell github actions to actually just start caching some of this stuff so it doesn't take forever for these jobs to run so here's how you do it i think i might bring this into the middle just a little bit so it's a bit easier to see throw a few carriage returns in there. And I'm gonna add a new step here. And the step will be well it's not gonna be that. It will be step number four. Set up a cache for Maven. And then what you do is you reference this cache action. So you use the uses flag right there, the, the uses entry, and you say we're going to use the cache. And then we specify a width, I'm going to get rid of that run there, because we don't need a run as we're building this particular step. And I don't need that key entry there. But what I do need to do is I need to tell the cache where I want to store all of these modules. And I'll just send it to the standard M2 directory, which, you know, we always use to put our Maven dependencies. I'm also going to specify sort of a hash key. And the key is going to be based on the OS dash M2 and then the name of the file that we are downloading the dependency for. So this will allow us to kind of create a, a bunch of key value pairs that map the download file to a reference that can be used to extract it. And of course, if we've got those keys that we are using to save the files in the cache, we need to actually specify how we're going to pull those things out of the cache with the restore keys. And there we go right there. So we're just going to use the runner OS dash M2 to just pull that out. And there we go. With that, we can then run our Maven build. And the next time we run our Maven build, we will have all of these files pulled out of the cache and it'll speed up our Maven builds significantly. Commit that. And there we go. The next time it runs, well, it'll still be slow the next time, but the time after that, everything should run very quickly. And there you go. That's how easy it is to configure a dependency cache for your Maven build in GitHub Actions. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. We've got lots of great tutorials on enterprise software development, Git, Java, DevOps tools, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.